Hello everyone, welcome back to CNA, the daily newspaper analysis. Today, the date is 25th of November. These are my working experiences, you may go through it. If you want to download today's PDF, you can join our WhatsApp group or our Telegram channel. There are also other platforms through which you can connect to us. I'd like to inform about our IGP program, interview guidance program, which is going on full swing and the registration is still on. And it is completely free. So, friends, bondu about this program. This is our content space. So, we will be discussing these topics. Let's start with our first topic rapid innovation and startup expansion. So, news out kele dekha guise because aim aru niti ayo khyote collaborate kori pula ata notun ata step ata loise known as rise rapid innovation and startup expansion. So about rapid innovation and startup expansion, it is a dear miss out. It is a partnership between the CSIRO and AIM. It aims to promote innovation and entrepreneurship in India and Australia by accelerating startups and SMEs working on circular economy technologies. So the program also focuses on environment and climate technology, aiming to help startups navigate new lines, connect with partners, customers, and talent. Moving on, the Rice Accelerator program supports startups and SMEs in waste and circular economy technologies, offering up to 40 lakhs in non-equity grants. Future rounds will focus on climate smart agriculture, clean energy, climate smart mobility, reinforcing India-Australia strategic partnership. Moving on, uh, bilateral co collaboration in aspect of that we can see that the rice program is a nine month nine month bilateral collaboration between india and australia aimed at addressing environmental and climate technology challenges it aligns with csiro's circular economy for missions initiative promoting waste innovation and zero waste design the program also targets startups and SMEs with mature technologies, aiming to support the transition to a circular economy in both the countries. So what is a circular economy? Circular economy is a DMA sound. Then it, is, uh, it aims to eliminate the waste and maintain resource usage by designing products for easy repair, reuse or recycling. Okay, keeping products in use for maximum lifespan and using renewable or biodegradable materials to regenerate the natural system. So that is not a circular economy, which involves the process of reuse, repair, remanufacture, or recycle. So yata question please attempt Koribo and let us know. So that was our first news that India Australia military set up at the start of a Help over Karna at a scheme at a by initiative at a loose. Moving on, the second news of the day is about Bagh Hajorika. So, Bagh Hajorika was a 17th century commander who is believed to be fought alongside Lachit Borfogot in the famous Battle of Saragat in 1671. So, is battle to battle of Trafalgar or logo to compare Korazan? So, where is battle of Trafalgar? So, the Apnaga Jane, please let me know where the battle of Trafalgar took place. question Just let me know that kun kind of parties involved in the battle of Trafalgar. Because Trafalgar Jagatu Name actually Trafalgar Hoy are Trafalgar quota say it is in the southwest of Spain. Okay, it is a cape at a cape at a hoy, C A P E Cape at a hoy. So Tate battle to was like battle of Trafalgar, which is often compared to our famous battle of Sarai. About Bagh Hajariga, so 17th century commander who is and uh, both believe quite that it is a fictional character. Kisumane koi, he took a fictional character hoi, Jarniki at a historical representation of Homot Nai, or he took Karone, the black minority leaders as a not our mother at a boho down at a tension at a create hoi, go see. Moving on. Uh, my Borfogon, Lassit Borfogon is to army as he had a defeat Korisla Mogolo. So Raja Ram Singh of Mogolo as an elite Korisla, they can defeat Korisla ultimately. Aru uh, defeat Korar Pisot, uh, Tarabito at one of the main reasons about G2 had the main powers level. What was that? It was the different 
ethnic communities various ethnic communities bilak ekeloge asle okol ahom okole asle tene kon hoy but belag ethnic communities bilaku asle however uh, existence of bag hazorika uh, has been questioned during the bar focus 400 birth anniversary celebrated in new delhi <coughs> moving on uh, the response has been panel discussions. It is the panel discussions. panel discussions on the uh, on Bag Hazarika's role in preventing Islamization in Assam and uh, around the lack of mention of him in reliable Ahom history. So Ahom history, Jodi Amisa, Ahomar history, Jodi Amisa, Titor Kota, Imanta Udikora, Nayag. So eventually, Assamese Muslim intellectuals as say, kisi ban scholars bila kisle hi hote request koi la Assam government to establish a committee to investigate Bag Hazorika's contribution to the Indian history. Also, some argue that the controversy is part of Hindutva's agenda to deny Muslims contributions to the Indian history. So, the halke jita nige research kora hobo. Eventually, we hope that we will get to know the real thing. Moving on, the Bagasrika is a controversy. It will definitely questions raised Kuris about the history and also questions raised Kuris about history. Can I get Kenny Kenan Honor Likagus about its constructions and also the tensions about uh, among the many Assamese communities? It also emphasizes the need for thorough examination of evidences, fair representation of the past, and respect for the contributions of all communities. Moving on. Third topic of the day is about the uh, why NASA spacecraft fired a laser at Earth. So this is related to your SNT part, science and technology. So NASA you know, psych spacecraft assay. They have uh, it have uh, fired a laser signal at Earth on November 14th. So get your November 14th. So number of the monday was spacecraft or number of the people who are prelims are going to be very important. Okay. So, at a laser signal at a dissident or Arthur San Corise to reach Arihote Tri Corise, reach Corribo Garde at the asteroid at a Jutuniki orbit Corise between Mars and Jupiter. So about the spacecraft, about the spacecraft with the Amis out, it is a NASA to the Sykes Space Mission say launched in twenty twenty three. Launched in twenty twenty three, it aims to study the origin of the planetary course by orbiting and studying metallic. Asteroid 16 Psyche. Psyche is the heaviest known M type asteroid, maybe an exposed iron core of a proto planet. Okay, so at an exposed iron core, the mission uses solar powered Hall effect thrusters and laser optical communications and will orbit the asteroid from August 2029 to late 2031. So, he can look at Hope that I am at a halata at a answer at a pump. Anyways, up to the visit of the other NASA recently and like a sample Louis from asteroid sample Louis. So, asteroid to now key hoy up to the book John Abo NASA recently at a asteroid or per sample Louis asteroid to now key hoy John Abo very recent uh news of the recently news of the asset. So, please go ahead and look for it and comment it down in the comment text. Space communication and associated problems. So space communication and bohutu problem as a space communication and so the amisa that yeah they are primarily use radio waves due to their large wavelength, which also allows them to pass through the atmosphere, foliage, and obstructions. Scientists also aim to transmit data at the highest bandwidth. Okay, at the highest bandwidth possible to increase data transfer. However, Communication with the spacecraft far away from the Earth presents challenges, particularly in the data rates. So, data rates fully collect here the vast amounts of data transmitted by spacecraft while moving at rapid speeds. So, here to address the data challenge. NASA's revolutionary new technology. So, I told you the technology as a which is the deep space optical communications. DSOC and this is very very important question here for a half chances both this year so I'm not looking at server by silo so NASA is it over this song will be so experiment so kissed near infrared laser signals for communication with the spacecraft and everything data rates 10 times higher than the current radio systems 10 times higher than the current radio systems the psych spacecraft is the first to carry a DSOC transceiver 
okay testing the high bandwidth optical communications to art the dsoc technology which have uh, which achieved the first light on november 14 okay uh, is enabling high bandwidth optical high bandwidth optical communications beyond the moon enabling higher data rate communications for scientific informations then high definition of imagery then streaming video supporting humanity's next mission to the mars as well so yeah, there are the prelims for kind of question dear so please go through it moving on to the last topic of the day is the second cinema conference again which is india aro nordic baltic business country with a conduct for a mission so it was uh held c double i on uh 2023 go to new delhi so here the jodi ami saw india aro nordic baltic Nations, the Kenya set total art and assembly question. I can NB8 Puliate Manson Gora Guis. So NB8 of what has been saw it is a regional cooperation format involving the Nordic countries and the Baltic states. So Nordic countries pasta as a Baltic states pinta as a Namkina Pulaga Silobo Yate and Tunia Gentias. I hope you guys already know about that. So mapping is a very important part of important part for your preparation. So please mapping or Karne up not get time spent with every day. Apart from that, uh, the cone cliff to the Amisau, it aimed to promote sustainable food systems, uh, the blue economy, maritime cooperation between India and Nordic Baltic nations. It highlighted India's push for renewable energy integration, resource identification, policy support, energy storage, and advanced technology initiatives while seeking support from the Nordic Baltic economies. Transition, who is in, like transition to the industry 5.0. Green financing for climate action. Green financing for climate action. It will both be important noy because uh a conflict to conference should a to uh inform Kora Gusla, highlight Kora Gusla about the importance of climate finance in achieving the green transitions and explore strategies for funding and investment in climate action. Apart from that, the conflict also discussed the potential of collaboration between India and Nordic. Baltic nations to enhance the productivity and efficiency in the manufacturing sector, particularly in the area of AI, IoT, and smart manufacturing. Moving on. The content discussed the India's uh, logistic policies as well and uh, potential collaboration with the Nordic Baltic countries to strengthen global value chains. With their trades with Nordic countries with a combined FDI of USD 4.69 billion from 2000 to 2023. India and Nordic Baltic countries are actively participating in the global partnership, including G20, to find sustainable growth solutions. They are exploring joint development projects in Africa, aiming to expand their global footprint. To foster growth, they need to diversify trade, reduce trade barriers, encourage the investments, promote joint ventures, and ensure a conducive environment for business. So, yata yata PYQ D2 ase, main so when we accept this, go through it. So, our prelims facts start with this. So, the first prelim fact is about the Kolkali art of Kerala. So, Kolkali, it is a folk art from Kerala. It is performed in the memory of St. Thomas. St. Thomas was one of the disciples of Jesus Christ. So, St. Thomas was to arrive in Hoi, here to celebrate Korazai. Okay, Kitty arrived in 52 AD. Drawing elements from the Kalari Pattu, it involves performers holding sticks and moving in a circle, keeping rhythm to the music. So, we had a picture of the Kapaisa of Nadaka, so he is a bit of a celebrate. Our Kalari Pattu of Nadaka, Kompais again, so did as an preceptor sign about. Already examined items. So, Kolkali is widespread among the Davidians and has influenced the folk dance forms in Bengal, Gujarat, Punjab, and Maharashtra as well. Online coaching platform Sati. So, another platform at Unaise Sati. So, Kune Unaise, the Ministry of Education and IIT Kanpur have launched the Sati, an innovation online platform aiming to transform entrance exam preparation in India by offering free accessible coaching 
leveraging AI to personal learning experiences and preparing students for exams like JEE and NEET. So that, that's it for today. This is our academic team. This is our content developing and technical team. Thank you very much.